Hello, hello, hello. It's been a while, I don't know how long, but um, YouTube videos. So, making you this one, obviously. Um, this is an artist book. There's two here. I've got more than two of these. They've been made from art, and I, I do think I have probably showed you these as well in previous YouTube videos. Um, so, they take a long, long time to create. If I say that, by the way, that something takes a long time to create, it's never a complaint. I'm in it for the long haul, everything I do. So the stitch papers, stitch fabrics, collaged papers, embellished, um, lots of different pages, overlays. Um, if you remember wedding albums from back in the day, they had the photographs and then they had a, a really sheer sheet of something on top to protect like an overlay. So I like to do that as well. Um, so yeah, just pages and pages of stitched papers and stitched fabrics. Now, I sometimes get a hankering for these, um, but like I say, they take forever and ever. So for example, this and this and this, okay, and this cover piece all have to be stitched first. The, the fabrics that are stitched on the machine, then hand stitched, the loads of bullion knots on here, look at all the French knots on there, and they extend over the page. So the prep of them takes a long, long time. Again, not a complaint. And the putting together of them takes longer than you think, because I could create a massive pile of things and then go crack on, create an artist book, Karen, but then I would find that I'd get to some pages that are like, mm, missing something, da, da, da. That always happens. They're never finished because you can always think of something else to go on them. And this is another one. So when I get a hankering for them, I get some of them out again. So this cover piece, um, it's stitched silk velvet and lace. And there's bullion knots and beads and French knots and a beaded edge. And do you know what I mean? It's a lot of intensive hand embroidery. And then this I was created first before I embellished it. Um, so when I get a hankering for them, I think I'm just going to have a look, see if I can just add something to a page um, and that might satisfy my hankering. Now sometimes it doesn't, like again this piece, I've stitched that, it's an overlay. Um, so I'm hoping you get a sense of the time consuming nature of these anyway. And like I say, I've got more than these two, but I don't want to send you to sleep. I'm sure I've shown these before. Um, by the way, if you've got any requests of things you want to see, don't hesitate, leave a comment. And I'm not promising, but I'll do my best, okay? Um, but if you don't tell me, then I don't know. So I could also spend some time creating these things and building a pile of these things and to some extent I do um, and that would help with the formation of another book I could also make a smaller one so that's in the back of my mind and I do do things like that so for example I've got some stitched paper here with silk velvet on now I've got quite a lot of this prepped <coughs> so it's a good start to make another artist book but what I felt I'd rather do is just add it Add a little bit of this to one of these pages and it's here. I've looked at this page and it's not really singing to me. Okay, It's interesting, but there's space for some of this. Okay, So I'm going to cut a bit of this off. Now I never, this is paper and then it's got silk velvet on it and it's stitched on the sewing machine. Um, I would never ever cut paper with my fabric or embroidery scissors. And you, you probably know that, you're probably thinking I'm not three years old, I know that already. But you'd be surprised sometimes what people don't know. Hang on. I was just getting a drink. And it's, don't worry, it's well away from the table. Um, so these are old embroidery scissors that are past the best. So that's what I'm going to cut this with. Now I just want a little piece for here. And I'm just going to attach that and put something on it as a little titivation. And honestly, it will satisfy me. It'll satisfy my need to play with an artist book. Now that actually might be too big. Put it there. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. So I had a, a Zoom call with some of my class um, people on Friday, and I was saying I'd been out to a quilt show and I'd bought these beautiful things. Lovely buttons. Look at those. 
but I'm frightened to use them because then it won't happen. <laughs> They'll be all gone. So I'm going to try and get some more online. But I also got these lovely little labels. And the labels for if you stitch a jumper or da 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 da. Some of them, the stall where they had these had labels that said handmade with love, made by me, made by grandma. But these are just plain ones with flowers on. And I really, really like them. Um, so I'm going to put one of these in here as well. That one has kind of folded itself off centre, so I'm not going to use that one. Because I can't be faffed straightening it up, I haven't got time. Um, right, so what I'm going to do, I've got a needle threaded here already with a knot in the end. If I move that over there, I'm going to attach this bit of paper here and I'm going to put this little label at the edge. So it's a double sided thing. So you know you get tags on clothes, it's like one of them. So you would stitch it there and it would be a flip over tag like that. I hope that makes sense. Now I've actually used one of these already on another piece of work and I cut it in half. I'm getting two for the price of one. So if I put that under the paper there, okay, so it's just there at the edge. And then come up through the back. This is paper I'm stitching through. And then down again, just a couple of little running stitches. One, two, and that will secure that. Now this bit of stitch paper I've just put on here, I can attach that any way I want, okay? I'm minded to do French knots all the way around because it'll add to the texture of the page. So I will do that, but I won't do that on camera because it will take much longer than you imagine. And I don't want you all falling asleep. So I'll just do a couple. But I will do them in the manner of the cover. And I'll go back to that in a minute and show you what I mean by that. There'll be lots of them basically. Um, a highly textured edge of French knots. So I've done three there, okay. If I bring my needle through ready for the next one, there. Okay, so what I mean by that in the manner of the cover is if I pull in a little bit, wrong way, here, oh, they're all French knots like an uneven line of French knots. And like I said, they do continue onto the reverse of this here. So that is how I will finish embellishing this bit, which is here that you can't see, there, there. Okay, all around there. And then that page will have more texture. And also it'll have this little interesting thing here. So if you feel like, oh, I want to do something on paper or like in my book, or da, 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 but I can't, it's too much, I haven't got time to invest, just get one of your old pieces out and add to it. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Nobody's going to come and arrest you. Okay, so anyway, have a lovely Sunday.